Hey, so I recently came back from having a good time in the Canary Islands and thought, well, why don't I go on a road trip through the north of Spain? So I just did that. For those new to the channel, hi, my name is Mario, I'm a 17 year old international A-level student from Spain. Welcome back to another travel vlog. I know this channel is not about travel vlogs, but anyways, I just have fun making them and sharing with you guys my days, so I just thought, why not? So let's just get straight into it. 14th of August. My parents and I left home in the morning and took the road towards Vitoria Estate, where half of my family lives. After a four hour ride, we arrived at the hotel in Armentia, a place in the suburbs of the city, and headed towards Plaza de España during the late afternoon, where we waited for a local guide to show up. He led the way around the ancient parts of the city while narrating us some mysterious stories about the city, amongst which there was the legend of a ghost called Andresito and a real serial killer called El Sacamantecas. <laughs> Creepy stuff all around, not gonna lie. Fifteenth of August. The next day was a chill one in Vitoria. I had breakfast in a bar, met with some of my family, and went back to the hotel for a nice workout sesh in the hotel's gym. I had a mango yogurt before heading to the gym, where I was lucky enough to be by my own. I did a few reps here and there, aimed at upper body muscles and called the day. So I just finished my workout. I thought only son entered while I was filming and it was kind of awkward, but you know, I just said like, hello. And I was, I was scared, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, I did hit a really good workout. I enjoyed it a lot as well. Tomorrow I will possibly go to Bilbao. See you guys right now, bye. 16th of August. I started the day with a really good breakfast in Vitoria and went back to the hotel as I would be going to Bilbao for the afternoon. I gave some time with Ali Abdal's latest podcast appearance in Diary of a CEO before finally getting on the car. I got to Bilbao about an hour later and met with a local friend of my father who kindly took us on a tour around the city. We first entered a modern building which had contemporary artistic designs on the ground floor, a public library in the first floor and a terrace at the top with decent views of the city and its buildings. After that, we explored the old town with its narrow streets and angel buildings and then took the funicular which carried us up to Mount Archanda. From where there were amazing panoramic views of Bilbao. So I am right here in Bilbao at a viewpoint at the top of the city. came with a friend of my father and my father obviously. Next was the most famous spot of Bilbao, the Guggenheim Museum, which at that moment was surrounded by some artificial fog which gave the place a mysterious look. Close to the modern museum was the sculpture of a 12 meter dog made of flowers, both genius and amusing. After such an eventful afternoon, we drove back to Vitoria Gasteiz. 17th of August. The following day started by having breakfast in the main square of the city, Plaza de la Virgen Blanca, before finally leaving the city. We drove towards the northern part of the province of Burgos, known as Las Merindades. We arrived to a very small town where we would be staying for the night, left suitcases in the room and decided to hop in a car to explore more places in the area of Las Merindades. We stopped at a village called Espinosa de los Monteros and then continued going towards the northwest. So 
So we are right here between what is Burgos and Cantabria. It's really cold, so we're just gonna continue with the trip. Yeah, let's just have some fun. Now we headed back to the south to the natural monument of Ojo Guareña. These are caves within eroded karstic rock which were first habited by humans in the Middle Paleolithic. Quite a long time ago indeed. Eighteenth of August. We visited the Nela River Natural Bridge first thing in the morning, located in a village called Puente Day with just 45 habitants. Like, that's crazy, right? The next stop was Oña, one of the most influential villages of the early kingdom of Castilla, which has the monastery of San Salvador. We later left Burgos and entered the province of La Rioja as we would stay in San Millán de la Cogolla for the night. This village is known for its twin monasteries, Suso and Yuso, which mean upper and lower in archaic Spanish, both recognized as world heritage sites. Before arriving to San Millán de la Cogolla, we passed through the village of Berceo, where Gonzalo de Berceo, a renowned Spanish poet of the 13th century, was born. We finally arrived to the hotel at the monastery of Yuso, where we would spend the night. We left our suitcases at the place and continued with the road trip. We visited another town called Santo Domingo de la Calzada with its own cathedral and tower. Nineteenth of August. The last day I was quite tired to be honest but I still try to enjoy the rest of the trip as much as possible. During the morning, we visited the insides of the Monastery of Yuso on the other part of the building from where we stayed. The monastery is mostly known because inside of it were found the first modern written words of early Spanish and Basque languages. After such an interesting tour around the Monastery of Yuso, we headed for our last stop of the road trip before heading back home. This was another monastery, the Monastery of Balvanera, 30 kilometers to the south of the Monastery of Yuso. It was now time to take the car for another 4 hours before finally arriving to Madrid. Thanks for watching this video, I really appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed this road trip through the north of Spain, uh, I really enjoyed making it. I think I really got some nice uh, footage into it, I'm getting better with the camera. And yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up, it really helps. Also, you can see subscribing because, you know, why not? And we're just gonna keep this growing, so yeah. Now that I am back home, I will return to my normal talking head videos, like this one, uh, talking about study related topics, um, productivity, academics, my A levels as well because I'm starting A2 this year, which is like year 13, the last school year, uh, and that's obviously a big deal. And so, yeah, those are videos coming. Uh, I have one coming really soon about uh, mathematics and science basically, but uh, I think you're gonna really enjoy that. And yeah, I'm not gonna give more clues because it's not, it's not a surprise. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.